So then we are taking a look at the Mola Seri, my favorite beauty dish. Hey guys, so here we are with the Mola beauty dish, the Seri. So like I said, it's my favorite beauty dish, so spoiler alert, you know that I love it. But let's find out why. So first of all, we got the finish, it's white obviously, and it has this pattern, ring patterns here, which to me just gives that a very unique Mola look, the way it renders the light on the skin, the diffuser in here, this is an opal disc. This one doesn't come with the Mola by default, I bought that one. What it comes with is the metal mesh diffusion, which I will show you when I turn it around. But I just love how this one softens the look a bit more, while you still get that contrasty look, because this is what stands out about the Mola, is that you get a high contrast on the on the skin, on the, on the photo, but at the same time it's soft, you don't have the harshness like you would expect from such a contrasty image. Uh, to me, that's, this is the reason this is so popular with uh, fashion photographers everywhere. So let's take a look around. So now one thing this is not, is compact. This is uh, 18, I think it's about 18 pounds, but I'm gonna put it on a scale and put it on the description how much it weighs. And this is a big chunk of metal, very solid to build, but it's not gonna be the easiest to move around if you wanna travel with or, or just outdoor shoot. I personally do it all the time with it because I love shooting with this, so I don't mind taking it out. But it might not be the easy, it's not like just like a easy to fold, like a glow easy or something along those lines. But here we got Mola branding. This is the mountain that it comes with. This is a Bowen speed ring. This is a low profile one. I love using low profile speed rings. I think this one came from Adorama or Shirastan, one of the two. And here, you know, the usual knob to adjust the angle. Now, as you can see here, I have it mounted on this offset arm. This one is made by Kupo and holds about 44 pounds. I love using offset arms because they're smaller than the boom arms, but you can always just mount it on a boom arm. You can mount it directly on the stand here, no problem. Personally, for the way I shoot, I love the offset arm. I think it's small, clean look, and then allows me to center this with the model and shoot right under it or I can put like a reflector for a clamshell look, either way. The way I, I like to shoot, this is the perfect design for me. So anyways, uh, this is just how I mount it. If, I'm gonna put in the description the part, uh, the offset uh, part number, just in case you wanna get it. But like I said, the, the beauty dish is not the most easy one to carry around, but the results are so good that I don't mind. And hopefully you can judge by yourself. I'm gonna be adding several photos that I did with Bella Morgan, uh, the model that you've seen me shoot with several times. Uh, she did the Iron Spider shoot, for example. And this is a 4K video, so you'll be able to get a pretty good idea of the rendering that you get from this and the way it renders the, the skin and, and the lights all around. And just pay a, a lot of attention to how the highlights look and the fall off of the light is in the skin. And then you can determine whether you want to add these to your tools or not. So let's take a look.
Okay, so that was all the samples for the shoot that I did with Bella. Hope you like them and then hope they give you an idea of what to expect from this uh, beauty dish. Now uh, you probably noticed that I wasn't using the offset arm on that video. I did that in a different location where I didn't have the uh, offset arm with me, but I still love the results that we got. But for the most part, I'll be using the offset arm that I showed you earlier. And I think I, I missed showing you the, the opal, uh, sorry, the metal diffuser. Uh, so here is the metal mesh. Diffuser is the one that comes with the units, just because I forgot to show it earlier. But in any case, let me know if you have any questions about it. You're going to be seeing this more often on my uh, future shoots, and um, there's a lot of more videos coming up. Finally, I'm starting to get more um, gear to test. I'll be doing the Demi as well, and I'm also getting the Manti, which is the 43 inches, I believe, version of the Molas. So that's a huge one. Uh, so it'll be fun to shoot with that one. But I'm also testing the Godox M2, the MoveLink um, wireless, which is the one that I'm using right now. So this uh, unit is really, really good. I love how it, it sounds and how it uh, behaves. And the, the connection is really solid. So you're going to be seeing that review very soon. There's also a uh, Moza Mini P gimbal that I used with my phone and I used with the with the, A7 or the A9 and a small um, 24 millimeter lens. Uh, so it's able to handle everything on a very compact gimbal. And what else is coming? Also, I have some stuff from my, comparing the Samsung S21 Ultra to the RX107 as a travel camera. And I even did a, a bit of a photo shooting studio just for fun. So there's plenty of stuff coming up on my channel. So go ahead and subscribe, like, and um, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to reply. Thank you for watching. And we have the 28 inch Mola SETI. Ugh. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Ha ha.